All right, guys, we are back. We're doing our final video on the Kronos One, a 1/350 scale model being put out by Polar Lights. And of course, it's available at Cult TV Man Hobby Shop. So in today's video, we are going to decal the ship. We're going to do the last of the weathering, and then we're going to add all the wonderful photo etch that makes the Kronos One pretty unique. So let's start off with the decals. And we have a pretty simple set of decals on here. this. Uh, we have a couple insignias. This is a very important one for kind of the front of the bulb, the photon torpedo launcher. And then all sorts of little details that go along the ship. Now, I was a tiny bit disappointed that this version of the ship doesn't really have this gorgeous Klingon insignia that the first version had. Uh, this was such a cool decal for the Katinga version. I think it's actually four different parts there that fit wonderfully to give you that Klingon insignia on the bottom of the ship. Uh, but the Kronos One doesn't really have that detail. Now, the one thing I'm a little disappointed I didn't paint because this decal actually looks a little hard, is they do give you a decal to go on the photo etch from the lighting kit. So kind of to wrap around the bulb, you've got this piece here and this piece here. That, I, I kind of feel like I should have painted it, uh, but we'll see how the decal looks. And if the decal doesn't work out, I can remove it and paint the photo etch anyways. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time here. I'm gonna put these decals on and then we'll check back in. Like all model kits, it's really a situation where you should weather it to your own tastes. Uh, to me, the Kronos One is an old, battered, but victorious battle cruiser that absolutely shows its age. And as we've talked about, its ornate paint job represents battles and victories and campaigns it's been on. So there's a lot of history behind this ship. So I like it being dirty and weathered and used. And of course, it's not just the paint that the Klingons update whenever the ship returns victorious. The Kronos One has tons of gold ornamentation, and that's what we're about to work on. So in the model kit, you get a sheet of photo etch to represent kind of some of the gold ornamentation on the ship. And you get a decal sheet for the gold ornaments as well. And the decal sheet really is cool. I've already seen builds using these gold decals. It works out really well. But Polar Lights actually has a complete photo etch set if you'd rather use photo etch for all of the gold ornamentation rather than relying on the decals. And that's what we're gonna use now. We have the Polar Lights photo etch brass set. We've got two sheets of photo etch and that's what we're gonna start applying to the ship. Now I've gone through the decals and the small set of photo etch that comes in the kit. And as far as I can tell, 
every piece represented by the decals or the small sheet is present on these two sheets of photo etch. And to me, the photo etch that comes in the set feels thinner than the photo etch that comes in the kit. The photo etch comes with some very nice instructions showing where all of the photo etch should go. Well, applying the photo etch isn't hard, but it definitely is time consuming. I'm just using a toothpick to put a drop of super glue on each corner. And some drops here in the middle where there's a lot of brass. It doesn't take much. And I'll make sure I'm lined up. And then just start pressing down. All right, that's all there is to it. Well, I've gone ahead and put probably about a dozen pieces of photo etch on the bottom of the ship and you can see how it's turning out. My first thoughts are I really do love the product. Um, not quite happy with my skills. Photo etch is not something I do too often, but I think it's turning out well. Uh, cutting it off the sheets, super gluing it down. I, I think it really adds something to the model to just get that little bit of depth and that little bit of better reflection than the decals can provide. And I think I'm really gonna like how it turns out. Now I will point out, um, I did make a few mistakes in just how these pieces are lined up with each other. Um, this piece is supposed to be at more of an angle to be side by side with this one. Uh, but overall, um, I think I'm doing well. And I don't think that many people would notice if I didn't point that out. But so I'm gonna keep going, but I think the photo etch is going well. And I will point out just while we're down here, uh, there is a photo etch piece uh, that goes on the inside of the nacelle to provide a lot of extra detail down there. And of course, the nice part about using the photo etch is it just provides a little bit of depth that the decals can't really provide. So you can see we've done more photo etch along the neck, along the bottom of the bulb. And of course, one of my favorite pieces is this piece of photo etch that goes across the very front of the ship to provide a little bit of extra detail and ornamentation there. Uh, just looks fantastic. Well, I just put the last pieces of photo etch on the Kronos one. I did this kind of ridge that goes along the back of the command structure. And I got this little inlay, this tiny little strip that goes over the red clear piece. And the Kronos one with that photo etch applied is complete. The Kronos one is done. With the Kronos one being complete, I've decided to break this video into two parts. So now the build, the paint, the decals, and the photo etch are complete, and we're gonna wrap up this video. My next video is going to be my complete final thoughts and review on not just the model kit, but also the lighting kit and the photo etch set. We'll have lots of pictures of the Kronos One in its completed form and pictures of the Kronos One along with the Katinga, my original Klingon battlecruiser model, and some with the Refit Enterprise and 1350 of the scale. Uh, that video is already live on the channel, so you can watch that one next. But thank you guys for watching this video, and hopefully it gives you a good idea of what the Kronos One model kit and accessories are like.